Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we are going to talk about the negative impact of exile on Sergei Rachmaninoff's creativity. Sergei Rachmaninoff born March 20, 1873 and died March 28, 1943, composer who was the last great figure of the tradition of Russian Romanticism and a leading piano virtuoso of his time. After the Russian Revolution of 1917, Rachmaninoff went into his second self-imposed exile, dividing his time between residences in Switzerland and the United States. Although for the next 25 years he spent most of his time in an English-speaking country, he never mastered its language or thoroughly acclimatized himself. With his family and a small circle of friends, he lived a rather isolated life. He missed Russia and the Russian people, the sounding board for his music, as he said. And this alienation had a devastating effect on his formerly prolific creative ability. He produced little of real originality but rewrote some of his earlier work. Indeed, he devoted himself almost entirely to concertizing in the United States and Europe, a field in which he had few peers. His only substantial works from this period are the Symphony No. 3 in a minor, 1936, another expression of somber, Slavic melancholy, and the Rhapsody on a theme of Paganini for piano and orchestra, a set of variations on a violin caprice by Niccolò Paganini. Rachmaninoff's last major work, the Symphonic Dances for Orchestra, was composed in 1940, about two years before his death. The decline in Rachmaninoff's songwriting was dramatic. Between 1892 and 1917, living mainly in Russia, he wrote 39 compositions with opus numbers. Between 1918 and his death in 1943, while living in the United States, he completed just six. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.